Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Beer Reviews, and we're going to put said beer into said glass. Yes, it is by this company. I have not had this one yet. Um, it's another local option. Well, let's get right into it. This is the Irish Sitter Red. Now, this is supposed to be an Irish style red ale. It says uh, medium to light body uh, with fresh ground caramel malt flavor to add a little to no bitterness. The combination of American caramel malts and the finest Kent Goling hops from England add an inviting, noble, nutty, toasty malt aroma. Unleash the flavor. <laughs> what I like about it is that it's... Well, I don't kind of agree with uh, the said note right here. It says best served at 37 degrees. I tend to like um, some of my beers warmer so that I get more of the flavor to come out and be more apparent. It says IBUs is 16 and this comes in at 5.9% alcohol by volume. Standard 12 ounce bottle. Let's go ahead and pop it open. So I can let you guys know how it uh, kind of fares up nowadays compared to a lot of the, um, there's a lot of um, red ales out there nowadays and some, you know, tend to call themselves like an Irish red ale. Let's go ahead and pour it into said glass. Lovely coloring already. And there she is. Let's go ahead and set the bottle up over here and assess, shall we? Nice carbonation, carbonation flowing everywhere through this glass. Um, I can see that uh, crystal clear, get it out of certain lights. Um, you can definitely tell that it is a red ale. Head's even got like a little yellowish tinge to it, kind of like the, um, what I would like to call outside of uh, the, like, the malt characteristic, um, like kind of like the shell of the malt, per se. Um, I hate doing this as well. Look at that. Fingers worth the head. Very lovely. Let's go ahead and get a sniff. Definitely smell that uh, malt characteristic to it. Caramel malts, they definitely come through. Smells a little bit bready and crackery already. Let's go ahead and find out, shall we? Gross. nice not bad not too shabby at all my friends first thing i get off of it that caramel malt comes through bready crackery um you're also getting that noble hop characteristic it's not bitterness but it, it's like an upfront. how do i want to put it like a leafy green grassy note um very like herbal um but yet at the same time it just kind of reminds me um that a hop is what it is i mean it's grassy it's green it's leafy it's it's viney um just those type of flavors just pop when i when i get a hold of um the noble hops um use them in abundance and yes you will get bitterness out of them um from a, a, another you know example from uh, my go-to company uh they have done several beers that uh uses the noble hops and they have used them in an abundance especially one they're they're most famous for uh and, and created a very powerful very bitter um, pale ale, but when used in low quantities, you're you're getting them for more of an aromatic and and for um, just to kind of balance the flavor. 
but with this it's done perfectly um uh, just another great example of why you guys should be out there um checking out your local region craft beers uh i kind of like just like flew out there and have been tasting everything in my neck of the woods um but more locally i i've kind of I stepped back away from them because they were so local. They're so, you know, widely distributed around my area that it was just like I wanted something that wasn't from my area. And I kind of neglected these beers. And, and these are some of the really, really, really good beers. This also kind of reminds me of uh, another beer that's locally um, made to my region um great lakes makes a uh conway's irish ale red ale um they they kind of have similar qualities to them but it's nice to be able to sit back and and know what the other beer tastes like and now having this one to kind of like reminisce about the um style examples because uh the conway's is more it's a little bit higher in alcohol it's got more flavor um excuse me as in uh, malt quality and it's it's toned back on the hops compared to this one this one you're definitely getting the hops you're definitely getting the malts um but the conway's version you're definitely getting more of an abundance of malt and, and less hop uh, with a higher alcohol content i believe um, but with this said man here it is, another great example from Thirsty Dogs. Do check them out. Get out there. Check out some great local craft beer, man. Peace, produce, and as always, rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you disliked it, and do not drink and drive. Once again, you're going to be paying more out of your pocket than you did for said beer. Peace.